Hello family, it's your Charlotte real estate market update for the month of June, as well as news from Case Schiller's housing report that came out June 29th. So stick around if you're interested in knowing what the Charlotte real estate market did last month. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm Sir Ashley, and on this channel we talk about national real estate news, money, and go in depth about North Carolina and South Carolina real estate. I'm going to quickly go over the stats and then I'll share with you what I believe they mean. But before I go over the May 2021 data, I want to share with you a report from Kay Schiller, which said that Charlotte, along with four other major cities, had the largest annual gains in home equity ever. The largest annual gains ever. Selma Hepp's deputy chief economist at CoreLogic said, although home price growth is reaching new highs, the risk of price declines has fallen far below pre-pandemic and summer 2006 levels. She goes on to say, this is likely because favorable mortgage rates and income growth continue to keep the ratio of mortgage payments to monthly household income much lower today. The only issue I have with the Case Schiller report is that the information is dated. The information was dated the moment the report came out and it causes home buyers and sellers to get a distorted picture of what the market presently is. Kay Schiller's report came out June 29th, 2021, but it highlighted April numbers. It's been two months since then. Real estate moves fast, and if you're not on top of it day to day and week to week, you'll be basing your decisions on dated and faulty information. All right, let's jump into the numbers. There were 1,692 new listings last month, Yes, that's over a 4.3% decrease from last year this time, and it's 150 less homes from last month. There were 1,720 homes that went under contract, and that is only 18 homes less than it was the month prior. Now, closed sales are actually up from last month and significantly up from last year. But when you look at closed sales, you have to be mindful that those properties are actually the result of an offer and purchase contract from one or two months prior. In totality, based on these numbers, it appears that the housing market is slowing down in the city of Charlotte. Now, different parts of the greater Charlotte area may be experiencing something different. And as I've said before, real estate is hyper-local, so what's taking place in one area of a region doesn't mean that another area in the same region is experiencing the same thing. The greater Charlotte area is composed of 10 counties. And if I included all the data for those counties in these market updates, it will do you a disservice because it will be too generalized. The median sale for a single family home in Charlotte for May 2021 was just under $338,000. That is a 20.7% increase year over year. The average days on market was 16, which is slightly down from the prior month. In the city of Charlotte, there is still only 18 days supply of homes on the market. Now, most of those homes that are available and still on the market over 18 days are priced above $330,000. It is still very much a seller's market and there is some competition. Now, you don't have to deal with 30 or 40 offers typically unless the property you're seeking is immaculate, very unique, or has something very attractive about it. Be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think is going on in the Charlotte real estate market. What are you seeing as you make offers or list your property for sale? If you're interested in real estate updates, property tours, or want to learn about money, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I would greatly appreciate it if you could help me reach my goal as I provide you with content on a regular basis. I'm Sir Ashley, a licensed realtor in North and South Carolina. If you have any questions, please reach out. Talk soon.